We released a couple of new strategies this weekend. Tick Fader is one of those two trades so far this week. Profit targets on both. Shorting into strength. Market does not go straight up. It is kind of in a range bound uh, pattern this week. You can see very narrow ranges intraday. Gap up on Monday. That gap has remained and any attempts to sell are bought up right here so far. So nice short trade on tick fader both days. Let's look at the Federal Reserve uh, stimulus E-mini S&P trading system dynamic tick pullback. No trade so far today. You see the ticks are selling. Uh, this strategy buys when the market is down and it reverses. And so it's this stimulus that uh, continues to hold the market up when it does actually sell off. And so we have had a market that is up this week. So no trades. No trades where the market is down and then it starts to reverse higher. And so this strategy uh, will continue to monitor the market, monitor the ticks. Uh, we talked about the tick count trend indicators, the dynamic tick count trend indicators. You see how the blues have led the way. Uh, most of yesterday in the afternoon, some reds started leading the way, but no real selling. And then blues led the way early. Some reds started to come up. Um, blues started leading the way again. And then we have some more reds on this sell-off. So we have this, this spike down, spike down the tick, spike down the tick here. Uh, but um, overall, the market is holding up at highs. And so right now, it's hard to short the market. So you can fade extreme moves on the tick, potentially with tick fader, or you wait for big pullbacks, and then as those pullbacks reverse, look for the reds to turn to blue. And these are the tick count trend dynamic and tick count trend indicators.